Orbital Operations is developing a high thrust space vehicle that'll be stationed out in orbit for satellite defense. My name is Ben Schlonninger. I'm the CEO of Orbital Operations. My name is Ross Doherty, and I'm the co-founder and COO of Orbital Operations. My background, I worked at NASA for a time and then went over to SpaceX working on the Dragon capsule. And then I was an early employee at Relativity Space working on the propulsion team. I started my career at Aerojet Rocketdyne, followed by Blue Origin, and then I was at Relativity Space. We were at a barbecue at Relativity and we were talking about all the different things that we were working on and kind of came to this idea, this aha moment of like all of the problems that we're seeing can be solved with liquid hydrogen, liquid oxygen out in orbit. You pull water, you grab electricity from the sun to split it in hydrogen and oxygen. And that's basically your stored energy that you're now recombining and exuding out the back of your rocket as water. Okay, what then? We get the highest chemical propulsion efficiency out of any chemical system currently out in orbit. We get full launch vehicle level thrust, uh, and we get the ability to have extended range. So we can now respond to threats, not only in low Earth orbit, but out in medium Earth orbit or geosynchronous or really anywhere in the cislunar domain. And we can do it quickly, right? Much faster than the other propulsion methods that are out there. Currently, we are focused on developing our engine for the Estreas vehicle, as well as the cryo management system, Boreas, that's gonna be equipped on that vehicle. So far, we have developed the igniter. We're in the process of building out our uh, mobile test stand, which we can drive out to Mojave. And in about two weeks, we should actually have our first tank delivered with the integrated tubing on the outside that we're gonna use for the uh, cryogenic uh, management system. On the igniter demonstration, we are running a gaseous oxygen and gaseous hydrogen system. And what you're going to see and hear is the gas is flowing and then maybe or maybe not see a flame because hydrogen actually burns clear. So what you're gonna see really is a temperature rise and then hopefully an exhaust. Oh, yeah. nice job. Yeah. Yeah. Most satellites are never designed to move, right? They're designed to go out into orbit and stay in that position and communicate with the ground. And that was fine when space was a sanctuary. Getting into orbit is getting easier and easier. Now that it's become more normalized and with all those critical assets out there, whoever is going to be able to move quickly, reposition, uh, respond to surprises or have the element of surprise is gonna be the organization that wins out in the end. We really are building a foundational company for in-space logistics and humanity's expansion into the solar system. And that starts with being able to protect critical assets that are already out there, but then being able to do logistics out in orbit. We're made to move and we're designing to defend, right? We wanna outpace, outmaneuver, and outlast the other assets that are already out there and, and really bring humanity to the next step of you know, space expansion and, and human exploration and, and space logistics. And that's what we're here to do. That's what orbital operations is really going to solve.